Do you remember this image that I created in this video? I suppose you do. But right now I want to make the picture more wider in length so that I can set this as my computer background. And voila! This is what I mentioned before. In today's video, I will show you how to expand background of an image with Adobe Firefly. If you still don't get what I mean, let's just head to the video. As I said, today we are still working with Adobe Firefly, so head to the website and sign up with your account as usual. From then, scroll down, please switch to Image section at the middle of the website, and you will see Generative Expand box at the bottom left. Click on it to go to the Working panel. After entering it like this, it will let you browse for an image from your device, which you want to expand the background or even add other things into the image. I will show you later. Now it will start at the Insert section. Please switch to the Expand option at the left of your screen. Then you will be able to choose the area to expand the image at the freeform part. Just move and drag your cursor at the edge of your picture like I do on the video. Or you can select an aspect ratio from the bar at the middle like this. Feel free to choose. And that's all you need to do. If you just want to expand the image normally, just leave the prompt box blank, then hit the Generate button. And the AI might take a while to finish the process. Just be patient for a little. OK, the results are here. The AI provides you with three images after generating for you to choose, like this. Very easy to use, right? You could also download the image to your device by clicking the download button at the top of the website, like this. If you are not satisfied with the first generation, click more to make other one. And the remake is totally free. It won't consume any attempts on your account. I'm fine with the results, so I won't need to do it. Okay, that is how you expand the image, but that is just the expanding process. You can even insert other things into the image when you enter text into the prompt box. For example, I want to add two cats at the two edge of the image, and then I hit the generate button as usual. Just wait a little bit. The result is here. This one is so silly. Of course, this feature is for reference only. I will show you a professional way to do it in other videos. This would be the end of the video today. Please leave a like and subscribe for my channel. My channel has just reached 100 subs. Thank you so much for the love you bring to me. I appreciate them a lot. See you in two days later.